What is up guys and welcome back to Coaching Enables and in today's video I've got a nice topic for you guys. First things first, I have been away for a while due to some other stuff that's been going on but this has actually helped me and made me realise that you know what, whatever's going on you just gotta make a video about it regardless. So yeah, let's just get straight to the video. So in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about social and work life. So the things about social and work life, these things both go hand in hand. Um, there was one thing a Greek philosopher said uh, called Aristotle, I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but he said excellence on a personal level uh, equals basically more productivity. So what I'm trying to say is that everybody has uh, personal issues that they want to solve and they want to do better in. And you know, obviously of course, if they do that, they feel like they'll be able to create more opportunities for themselves. So in a work life, if you want to do that, like say for example in a work life, you want to be on time, you're trying to better yourself by being on time, and eventually you become on time, that's you're getting yourself better productivity out of yourself and for, for the others around you in the team. And the same on the social side. So on the social side, if you're trying to like, um, you know, be be more aware, be a lot more sociable towards others, um, and you're just trying to, you know, talk to as much people as you can in a friendly way, then of course that way, um, you know, you're increasing yourself. You don't want to be secluded. You really don't want to be secluded in a, in a social life and in a work life. Because you don't want to be like, hey, Alan, 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 Al, Alan, Alan. Alan. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. So what Aristotle meant by that is that you know um, having a good having a good team sport game after work hours helps build chemistry, makes your mood better. Uh, it means that you can work harder even in the work life. So if you have tasks to do but you can't get them done play a sport, take them away from that environment and then build up their confidence and then go back to the work lab and see what they can do there for productivity. It might not work for everyone, but it does take steps as well. So you just have to give that person or that team an extra push depending on what type of people. If you get a mixture of people, then you're gonna you're gonna pre you're gonna do well. But if you get, a, a, let's say a group of people who are just concentrated on social life, rather than the work life, then try and, try and use that to your advantage. Try and ask them, okay, well, socializing is their thing but then when it comes to the work lab tasks maybe individually they're really struggling so maybe as a team we can make that as a team thing rather than just making it individual and I, yeah and i realized that a lot of a lot of workplaces nowadays really really to motivate you from having a good team chemistry just it's all focused on one thing which is just about getting that paycheck and you know obviously the reason why i'm relating this to sport is because it can affect your social life i mean i've I've been in a job recently, I can't say the name due to privacy policies and whatnot. And um, the team has really broken down from when I first started there. So the team would communicate, would listen, everything would go back and forth. Now everything's just going one way. And uh, it kind of just kept me away from going to the gym, probably playing basketball a little bit. And I'm kind of glad that kind of now things are kind of different. different different, I can't even say the word, it, things have different, have, things have been different for me and um, it's just a good way, I think it's a good thing that happened to me though really, really true honestly, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do this video or even get back into that mode of thinking you know what I can still do this, I've just got to find a job where people actually do care for each other regardless of any personal interest, because I mean there's nothing wrong with having personal interests but at the same time people you know, it, it can always, people have different personal interests. Um, it, you have, I mean, if you have people who do have similar personal interests, then that's fine, but people will have different ones. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, will, will that affect the chemistry of the team? And I feel like that's what's happening in my workplace. It affected different person, personal interests, affected the team. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I'm kind of out of there. I'm kind of just doing my own thing, kind of trying to find different jobs to help better me in team chemistry team building and then also when i'm playing sports that so it's just it's just looking at things from a different angle really and going back to you know people who do find themselves to be alone a lot of the times here do play an individual sport play something like uh, even tennis for example i know uh, tennis is more of a one-on-one -on -one thing against someone else you don't really know but you can still socialize you can still talk to your coach as well build a, build a personal relationship with your coach if that's the case because 
don't want to feel like you can't talk to anyone, you know, As, especially a, a sports coach where you, you should be able, you should feel comfortable. You should definitely feel comfortable around a sports coach who knows what he's telling you, who feels like he can really improve the sport, but also give you his insight on experiences in life and, and social, in socializing, in work. You know, like I said, like if you close your life out in work and in social, you're, you're pretty, you feel empty. You really do feel empty a lot of the times. And um, a lot of that stuff can like, definitely lead to mental health and those type of mental illnesses. It's just, it's hard to, it's really hard to, you know, come out of that box half the, half the time. But if you're one of those persons that uh, do feel like that, you know, you're, you're socializing a lot, and, as the, and at the same time, even if you are socializing a lot, you can still improve someone else's uh, lifestyle in terms of that maybe someone who socializes can help but someone who's quiet and very shy come out of their shell. And maybe someone who does socialize too often uh, can be brought down just a notch, just to be like, you know, maybe I shouldn't socialize with every and anybody, just only socialize at the right times, you know? And that's what, I think sports definitely sets a barrier with that. So, um, like I said, work life, social life, both go hand in hand. And hopefully, uh, you know, you got a lot of information out of this video because it's, it's something that I've been kind of just going through, like I said before. And, um, you know, I, I just thought to myself, you know what, let me make a video about this. Let me try and give my insight on what I can to people. I mean, I know this is, it's, it might not be about sports a little bit too much, but I feel like I can definitely relate to sports because sports has actually helped me uh, forget about a lot of these things. Um, you know, playing basketball just made, it's helped me forget about a lot of these things that's going on at work and maybe some things that's due to my social life. So definitely um, input these in, in, in your lifestyle if you, if you feel like I helped you a lot on this guy. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you did like the video, guys, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, uh, comment, share, and also subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video. Peace.